Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Leah and most of my videos are focused on unsolved crimes and mysteries. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I'm making a short video because there has been an update on the two missing moms from Kansas, Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for some updates about the case. And I have to be honest, I, I was 100% sure that they were going to return home. They're mothers. They have babies. Of course nobody's going to hurt them. So I saw an update today that just completely floored me. And I'm going to share that update with you. So if you're ready, let's do this. So there has been an update on the two missing moms from Kansas, Veronica Butler and Julian Kelly. The two women drove out on Saturday, the 31st of March, to pick up Veronica Butler's two children at the Four Corners. Veronica Butler had been in a custody battle with the father of her children for about five years. The father, Wrangler Rickman, was called ordered to attend six months rehab treatment and there was child abuse allegations made against Veronica's brother. So the main caretaker of the children was their grandmother. Gillian Kelly went with Veronica to pick up the children as a custodian. They never made it to the four corners and their car was found abandoned three miles from the location. The police suspected foul play because they had found some evidence inside the car and the window on the driver's side was broken. The police just came out and said that four arrests has been made in the case and the people that were arrested was the grandmother Tiffany Adams and her boyfriend Ted Collum and their two friends, Cole and Cora. They are booked into jail on two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of kidnapping, one count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. Gillian's mother has just posted on her social media that Gillian has passed away, and the grandmother of Veronica's children confessed to killing both Veronica and Gillian. Veronica Butler and Julia Kelly are still missing, so the police investigation is still ongoing. If you have any information in this case, please reach out so Veronica and Julian can be found and returned to their families. This was definitely not the outcome I was hoping for. This update is so heartbreaking. I can't even imagine what their families are going through. And the children, what about the children? Where are they? Are they safe? And from what I've seen, Tiffany Adams already confessed to the murders of Veronica Butler and Gillian Kelly. So I am thinking she might have told law enforcement where to find them. I just can't believe that she would do that to her grandchildren, take their mother away from them. I, how can anyone hurt a mother? But apparently that area in Kansas is extremely dangerous. And I just saw today that there was actually a YouTuber who had boots on the ground. She went there to join the search party to look for Veronica and Gillian. And she brought a friend, thank God, because when she came there, there was no search party. And they found out how dangerous that area was. And... They were chased, they were threatened, um, <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was hearing. And when she tried to talk to some of the locals, they were not talking because they were terrified. And I believe this YouTuber, she was in danger and I am so happy that she made it back home. Unfortunately, I don't remember the YouTuber's name. I have watched her channel several times. Um, and she's really good. Um, I will post it in the comment section when I find her again. She was really brave to go there and look. But she did think she was going to join a search party. And she ended up being the search party. Being threatened, chased. 
uh, talking to locals that was terrified and didn't want to talk to her because apparently this family of Tiffany Adams and their friends, they're crazy and they're really dangerous people. And this is a very small community. They're less than 300 people. So it's like everybody knows everybody. So if you start talking, you can be in serious trouble. So everybody is just, they're not saying anything. I am very happy she made it home safe and sound. Poor her. My heart really breaks for those two children because they're innocent. They're small babies. What are they going to do now? Where are they going to stay? First they stay with their father, then they stay with the mother, then they stay with the grandmother. Now their father is in rehab, her, their mother has been murdered, and their grandmother is in jail. They're just being tossed around all the time. They're only six and was it nine years old? Six and nine years old. Where, where are they going to stay now? Are they going to be in the system? Or are they going to stay with Veronica's parents? I really, really hope that the children get the help that they need. If you have any information in this case, please come forward with the information so we can find Veronica and Julian. You don't have to come forward with your name or anything. You can do it completely undercover so nobody knows your identity. My condolences and prayers go out to the families and I, I can't even imagine what they're going through. This is so devastating and heartbreaking. So that's it for today's video. Until the next one, take care and stay safe. Bye.